here we can see a set of axes. We have an x-axis that runs horizontally and a y-axis that runs vertically. We can describe the position of any point on this grid using its coordinates. And to write coordinates, we're going to have a bracket. Then we're going to write the x coordinate, so how many it's along, then a comma, and then we're going to write the y coordinate. We always write coordinates this way. We have the x coordinate first, and then the y coordinate. It is alphabetical. X comes before Y in the alphabet, and X coordinate always comes before the Y coordinate. The first question says write down the coordinates of point A. So here's point A. We can say its X coordinate is 2. So it's 2 along the X axis. So its X coordinate is 2. 2. So we're going to write 2, then a comma, and its y coordinate is 4. So 2, a comma, and then a 4. So those are the coordinates of point A. Write down the coordinates of point B. So again, the first one is going to be the x coordinate. So we can see that point B has got an x coordinate of minus one, negative one. So it's gonna be negative one, then a comma, always x first, and then y, and its y coordinate is negative three. So it's negative one, negative three. Okay, two for you to try. So write down the coordinates of point C and write down the coordinates of point D. Okay, point C, so we're going to do x first, and it's negative 5, so it's x coordinate is negative 5, so negative 5 comma, and then we write down the y coordinate, which is 4, so negative 5, 4, and then D, so again x first, and that is 1. So we've got one comma, and then its y coordinate is negative two. So one, negative two. Now we are going to plot points using coordinates. So part A says plot the point with coordinates negative three, four. So the first one's x, remember, it's always x, then y. So the first one has an x coordinate of negative 3, so that's here, and a y coordinate of 4. So that makes it here. It's got an x coordinate of negative 3 and a y coordinate of 4. So there is our point with coordinates negative 3, 4. The second one, plot the point with coordinates 5, negative 1. So x first, so 5 on the x, and negative 1 on the y. So 5 on the x, negative 1 on the y. So that is the point with coordinates 5, negative 1. Okay, 2 for you to try. So plot the point with coordinates 2, 1, and plot the point with coordinates negative 2, negative 4. Okay, so 2, 1, so it's x first, then y, so 2 on the x, and 1 on the y. And the second one, negative 2 on the x, negative 4 on the y. Next question. This one says, write down the coordinates of the midpoint of the line AB. So we've got a line AB drawn on our grid, and we want to know the middle of this line. So we can say, how do you get from A to B? So to get from A to B, we're going to go along 1, 2, 
three, four, five, six. Six along the x axis, and we're going to go down one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've gone along six and we've gone down six. Now, if we want to get to the middle of the line, we're going to go half as far. So, what is half of going along six and down six? Half of going along six is going along three. And half of going down six is going down three. So what are the coordinates of the midpoint? So the midpoint is at, so the x is negative one and the y is negative one. So we write our coordinates in the form x then y and that's negative one, negative one. Okay, one for you to try. So give this one a go. Again, we're writing down the coordinates of the midpoint. So to get from C to D, the whole line, we're going to go along one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And down two. So to get from C to D, we go along eight down two. If we want the midpoint, we're going to go half as far. So what is half of a long eight down two? That is a long one, two, three, four, and down one. So this is our midpoint. What are the coordinates of the midpoint? So it's x coordinate, then y coordinate. So the x is one, and the y is 3. So it's 1, 3. One more example. This time we're going to write down the equations of the lines shown on the grid. So we've got some straight lines, either horizontal lines or vertical lines drawn, and we want to know their equations. So let's look at this red line first and look at the coordinates of the points on the line. So we've got 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, and so on. What do all of these points have in common? They have a y coordinate of 3. And we actually call this line y equals 3. It's all of the points where y is equal to 3. It's called y equals 3. Let's look at this other horizontal line. So this time, the coordinates, 0, negative 4, 1, negative 4, 2, negative 4, 3, negative 4, and so on. This is all the points where y is equal to negative 4. So the line is called y equals negative 4. And the purple line, the vertical line now. So let's look at the coordinates of these points. I'll start up here this time. So we've got negative 3, 5, negative 3, 4, negative 3, 3, negative 3, 2, negative 3, 1, negative 3, 0, and so on. What do those points have in common? They all have the x coordinate of negative 3. And this line is called x equals negative 3. Okay, 3 for you to try. So pause the video and have a go at these quickly. So let's look at our green line first. So our green line is all the points where y equals 1. All of the points where y equals 1, and it's called y equals 1. Our purple line is all the points where x equals 4. It's called x equals 4. And the red line is all the points where x is negative 2, 
and it's called x equals negative 2. To finish up, we've got two questions, so have a go at these, and I'll go through the answers after. Okay, so write down the equations of the lines shown on the grid. So the green line here is all of the points where y equals 1. So if you took the points of any, so if you looked at the coordinates of any point along this line, it will have a y coordinate of 1. The red line here is all of the points where y equals negative 2. And the purple line is all of the points where x equals 1. The second question, write down the coordinates of the midpoint of the line CD. So to get from C to D, we go along 1, 2, 3, 4. And we go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what's half of going along 4, up 6? That will be going along 2 and up 3. So the midpoint is at negative 1, negative 1. So there's our midpoint. It's at negative 1, negative 1. So x negative 1 and y negative 1. 